Okay, uh, something I forgot to mention last video. There is a guy, uh, in between the forest and this, these buildings. He will give you an item called a Dusk Ball. Uh, they are good for catching Pokemon in caves or at night. Pretty much anywhere where it's dark. It help, and it, uh, just helps you catch them. And, uh, now that I've told you that, I'll just pass it on to, uh, Black Zekrom. Okay, here, Black Zekrom, I'm, Black Zekrom here, um, and this episode, we are going to be taking on the gym. And, so, first we have to talk to this, and he is a gym leader. See, you, see how he says, I am a gym leader? That's a hint of that this gym actually has three gym leaders, but you only battle one. And basically, and basically, they're going to purposely put you up against the type that your starter is terrible against. And by the way, for every gym ba um, battle you do, always talk to that guy that's always standing like, right here. He will give you a fresh water, and he might also tell you what the weakness is. For this gym, they will not tell you the weakness, mainly because there is three different types, and yeah. But to open all these little curtain things, what you have to do is you have to show, say if it shows a fire up there, you're going to have to say what's weak, what's, what is fire weak against. So you're going to click on the water panel, and it's going to open up. And just to show you guys what that gift did for us, I am going ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put him in front to face this guy that's going to be here. This trainer always during gyms battle every single guy possible because you cannot rematch them. Sometimes they will have Pokemon but you cannot see at all anywhere else. And I have made that mistake on other games. So trust me. Battle everybody. And basically, depending on which guy you got, like say if you got a Pamport, you're going to want to use like Water Gun. But if you get like a pan, uh, um, on their pan, like the each gym leader, will have, for their strongest Pokemon, they'll have one of the pans, which will be either Pamport, Panseer, or pan, pan Sage. And against them, you want to be using um, what you're strong against, which is either Water Gun, Vine Whip, or... And, and then um, Panseer would have Incinerate, which is probably not the best fire type, but it burns it. But the thing with Incinerate, it will actually um, burn their berry if they're holding one. Like, so, eh, it has an upside, but... Not the greatest, not the greatest move in like dealing damage. And just with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over because I just wanted to show you that. Um, mainly for this gym, we're probably gonna end up using Molly, mainly because for this gym leader, we're gonna have because of each because of your starter, they're gonna have your what, what they're gonna have your weakness to fight you with. So you using your starter will not be very helpful. And so, but like with our cave, basically, since we have a Snivy, they're going to end up having a fire type, which is going to be Panseer. Oh, great. I did not realize how strong this gym was. Oh, crap. Okay, but these, but they're strong, but their level would be 14 of any of their pans, and then they're probably, gonna, and then they're most likely going to have a level 12 Lily Pup to back it up. And that's pretty much all the gym leader's going to have. But instead of talking about that, we're going to actually show what we're battling. And, no, that's it. And, um, crap. We're going to want to heal up Ma Molly if we have anything. If not, I'm going to go ahead and go. I think we should have a, um, we should have, yeah, some potions. And we have a high proportion and a fresh water, which restores 50, which is almost, it, which is the exact equivalent of, say, a super potion. 
So, it's kind of useful that you get one every single gem, but after you get to like some of the last gems, not as useful. Okay, and this person, I'm not quite sure what they have. I'm thinking either, I'm, pro I'm pretty sure they either have a lily pup or a patrat. Yeah, see, they're going to have a Patrat, probably followed up by another Patrat, or by a Lollipop. I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be another Lollipop. I'm almost quite positive. <coughs> and they're probably just going to be spamming Bite in this gym. Oh, Bide is a very dangerous move. If you deal damage... Um, to it in three turns, like for three turns, and it's still not dead. If it does bite, it's gonna it's gonna double all the damage you dealt to it back on you in those three turns. Very dangerous movie if you can't kill it. Oh well, yeah, of course I'm wrong. It turns out to be a pearl line. This game just loves to prove people wrong. And this is this gem is pretty easy depending on like depending if you're gonna be using your pan, I'd recommend go leveling it up before you come into the gym. Mainly because their pan's gonna be like four levels higher than you if you don't, because you're gonna get it at level ten. So yeah, strongly recommend training it before you even start battling the gym. At least to level thirteen, mainly because you're gonna get some of it by battling the gym. And here we're gonna be battling some of the, we're gonna be battling the gym leaders first. I'm gonna wanna heal up and let's use a potion on my and garden snake. Actually we we did some off screen training and it's a level thirteen just so they don't want to be, fall be too far behind of Molly. So Okay. These are all three of the gym leaders that you might be able to face. Because if you picked 